Hi everyone, it's Tim here with a very quick stats update for the month of February 2023. So this was intended to be part of the usual monthly stats and chats with uh, Kat and I, but um, due to, well, the solar install happening this week, um, we've been unable to get together and uh, record the uh, the chats part of the uh, the video. So I'm going to put this out just as a separate stats update. I um, hope that's okay for the time being. And uh, hopefully next month it will be back as part of the, the stats and chats. So let's get to the uh, stats and uh, I'll show you what's been going on. Okay, so this is the air-to-air -air heating demand for the month of February, and this chart shows the heating demand in kilowatt hours for each day, um, together with the temperature, the average temperature in degrees C, and you can see that the dashed lines there are also the minimum and maximum temperatures. So what's interesting about this month is that uh, the total kilowatt hours that we used was 343 uh, versus 550 for January, so quite a lot lower. And you can see that the daily average is only 13.2 kilowatt hours per day compared to 19 kilowatt hours per day in January. Now the average temperature is slightly higher as you would expect for February at 5.8 degrees C compared to 4.4 degrees C for January. But I don't think that is why the heating demand has been significantly lower than January, and I will show you why in the next chart. So this is the chart of uh, heating demand in kilowatt hours versus the average temperature for each day during uh, February in the red dots there, um, compared to all of the previous data that I've got, which is essentially December and January uh, in the blue dots. Um, and you can see that, generally speaking, the February dots lie below the um, December and January dots by quite a significant margin. And in fact, the slope of that line, that best fit line that I've uh, plotted through there is um, minus 1.89 kilowatt hours per degree. So for every um, degree colder that it gets, we use 0.89 kilowatt hours extra for the heating. Now, when you compare that against the January value of minus 1.34 kilowatt hours per day, so you can see that that blue line is, um, is quite a lot steeper. Now, um, the reason for this is all of the extra uh, sunshine that we've been getting in February. Um, so the uh, um, average solar energy index, which is measured in megajoules per square meter, um, you can see I've plotted the values for December, January, and February, and you can see that obviously December is, is the lowest, as you would expect, but it's, um, it's more than tripled um, up to, uh, to February 2023, um, up to 6.4 megajoules per meter squared. Um, and uh, what I found really interesting was um, a few days where it was very, very cold in February uh, down here in sort of, you know, just about one degree C. Um, these three days here um, used way less energy for our heating than the equivalent days um, back in January and December. And uh, I noticed uh, that these days have extremely high uh, solar energy index um, and I remember those days being very very sunny indeed and noticed that uh, despite the cold temperature the uh, the heating demand was uh, was very low so that really goes to show that um, in our house in particular which has got some extremely large uh, windows when the sun comes out the heating uh, isn't needed anywhere near as much and uh, this is more or less what I expected but um, it was uh, gratifying to see it uh, quite so clearly in in uh, this month's uh, statistics so what I'm expecting um, in the coming months is um, as we progress through March and we get more and more sunny days, hopefully, that uh, this uh, line will continue to get pushed lower and lower, which means we'll need less and less heating um, for, a, for a given temperature. So I'm looking forward to that. And uh, the fact that we've now got our, well, it's ongoing, but the batteries are, are installed and they're not yet hooked up to the to the electrics, but uh, hopefully next week that will happen. And the solar panels are going on next week as well. Um, it's actually been snowing this week. So we got um, the installers got as far as getting the batteries on the wall and the inverter on the wall, but they haven't been able to do the solar panels. So what I'm hoping is that once we've got the solar panels as well uh, and the battery, that we'll be effectively able to run um, more or less from, from the solar and um, charged up battery from, from overnight to run the heating. And it will be really interesting to see how much uh, grid power we need actually for the uh, for the heating during uh, during uh, the rest of March and into April. So yeah, looking forward to that. Um, hopefully that was interesting to you and uh, I will see you in the next stats video roughly this time next month. Thanks for watching.